little bunnies. Um, this sweet no-sew pattern is quick to work up and you're working from top down and you'll be crocheting the ears and the tail afterwards directly onto the head and body. The sweet pattern is perfect for Easter and you can easily customize it with different yarn colors and by adding different embellishments like flowers, bows, etc. to their little ears or to the necks. Alright, so let's get started by talking about materials. For materials, all you'll need is some super bulky weight yarn. I'm using this really plush and velvety Chanel yarn by Hobby. It's called Honey Bunny. I'm also using a 5mm hook to go with my bulky yarn. I'm using a yarn needle for just sewing up the bottom of my amigurumi pair of scissors. You'll need some plastic safety eyes. I recommend 8mm or 9mm eyes. This little one is made with 9mm eyes. And lastly, you'll need some stuffing for your project. Let's get started. To begin, we're going to start with round one. For round one, you are going to chain two. Here's my slip knot to start my chain. Chain one and chain two. And in that second chain from your hook, you're going to insert eight single crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That concludes round number one. For round number two, all you're going to do is increase around. So that means put two single crochets in each stitch. Going into this first one here, I'm going to put two single crochets for my increase. Then I'm going to increase in the next stitch. Increase in the third stitch, in the fourth stitch, and all the way around. Here's round number two complete. For round three, you're just going to single crochet all the way around. So putting one single crochet in each stitch, you're going to have 16 at the end. After you go all the way around for those 16 stitches, you're going to move on to round 4. For round 4, you're going to single crochet 7, increase 2, and single crochet 7. You'll end up with 18 stitches for that. So I'll show you how that goes. We're going to first single crochet 7. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and seven. And then in the next stitch, you're going to increase by putting two single crochets in the same stitch. In the next one, you're going to increase again. So that finishes two increases. And then I'm going to single crochet seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And when you finish with that, um, you'll move on to round number five. In round five, you're just going to single crochet around. 
and you will do that um, all the way around for a total of 18 single crochets. Let's go ahead. Let's start on round six. For round six, you're going to single crochet five, decrease four, and single crochet five. So here's what it'll look like. Single crochet one, two, three, four, and five. And then when you decrease, you're going to single crochet two stitches together. So we'll do that four times. Here's my first decrease. Here's my second decrease. Here's my third decrease. And my fourth decrease. Now I'm going to single crochet five again. That's one, two, three, four, and five. And that concludes round number six. As you can see, your um, bunny's head is starting to shape along. You'll see that uh, pointier nose up in the front. The back is where the start of your round is. Now we're gonna move on to round seven. For round seven, you're going to single crochet three, decrease four, single crochet three. So here's what it'll look like. Single crochet one, two, and three. And now we're going to decrease four times. So decrease once, decrease twice, decrease a third time, and decrease oops, a fourth time. And now I'm going to single crochet three to finish up my round. At the end of this round, you should have 10 stitches and um, you'll see that head being shaped further. Here we go. Um, now you can go ahead and work round eight, which is done only in the front loops. And we're going to increase all the way around. So for round eight, I'm going to go into that first front loop and if you're not sure what a front loop is, um, you're normally going through both loops when you single cro or when you um, work in amigurumi. And here's the back loop, which is farther from you. And here is the front loop, which is closer to you. So I'm going to work just in those front loops here. And I'm going to start with an increase. So put two single crochets in that first front loop and we're going to work all the way around. So increase again, increase in that third stitch, increase in the fourth stitch, Increase in the fifth. Increase in the sixth stitch. Increase in the seventh stitch. Increase in that eighth. Ninth. and that very last 10th front loop. All right. And once you have that round done, um, you'll notice your bunny's um, body starting to come along. The, it's curved in for the neck. And now's a good time to attach those plastic safety eyes. We have a little bit of space here to push them in and work in those backings. All right, so I got my plastic safety eyes. I'm using nine millimeter eyes here. Um, if you wanna do smaller eyes, like eight millimeters, like for this bunny, um, it, it looks something like this. 
I'm trying out some bigger eyes for this new guy. So, um, insert those plastic safety eyes between rounds four and five. Counting from the top, that's one, two, three, four, and five. So right in between four and five. And I put them so that they're six stitches apart. One, two, three, four, five, and six is where I put the next eye. And um, you'll want to make sure that the nose part is the is centered and that um, the curve for the nose is at the very center, like so. And you can also help finding that by uh, making sure that your the start of your round is at the back of the doll. All right. So once you are satisfied with the placement of the eyes, you can go ahead and um, attach the backings. And for me, um, I have a really hard time getting my classic safety eye backings in with my hands. So, as you can see, um, so I like to use this nifty tool. It's a plastic safety eye attachment tool. I'll link it in the description box, but you really just give it a click and then your eyes can get secured really nicely. Easy and pain-free. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. Here's my second eye. After you finish with getting those eyes in, you can go ahead and stuff your amigurumi's head. This will allow the nose to take better shape. And you can use your fingers to kind of um, push out the tip of the nose. For round number nine, we're just going to single crochet around. And I'm going to add a scrap yarn here to keep track of where the start of my round is. You can use an actual stitch marker if you want, but um, if you're cheap and lazy like me, you can use a yarn scrap. So go into each stitch around. I'm just going to single crochet around for a total of 20 single crochets. And for round number 10, you're basically going to single crochet around, but put one increase at the very back side of the doll. So if your tension is different from mine, or if you've placed your eyes a little differently, you'll just want to make sure your increase lands at the very back of the doll. And so if I look at the back of mine, it would actually be this first single crochet here. So I'm going to put an increase in that first spot and then single crochet around normally. And again, if your, um, let's say your backside is more like here, like the center of your back, then you'll want to single crochet a couple times before you increase. But looking at where my bunny's eyes are, this first stitch would be the very center of the back. So here I'm going to increase first. and then single crochet around for every um, remaining stitch. All right, here I am at the start of the round. Um, for round number 11, you're just going to single crochet around no increasing and no decreasing at all. So after you finish round 11 of single crocheting around, you're going to um, uh, single crochet around again except it put just one decrease where the back side of your doll is. So for instance, um, I'm now seeing that the back side is more like 
here the eyes if I go back here it'd be around um, these last two stitches so I'm actually going to single crochet around and then decrease at the very end but whatever you do you'll just want to make sure you um, put one decrease in this round and that goes at the very back of the doll so going around here I'm going to first single crochet all the way around until I get to those last two stitches I notice here I'm at the last two stitches of my round which is also the back side of my doll and I'm just going to insert a decrease here and then for this next round I'm just going to decrease all the way around so that's 10 decreases total one two three four see your little bunny's body start to um, take form it'll have sort of a curve to the back um, and you'll be adding a little cotton tail there later um, after round 13 decreasing around you can go ahead and stuff the body I'm just gonna pull out my um, lovely stitch marker there so I don't need it anymore um, there will be one more round left but you're just going to be decreasing around for five, uh, five times. So that's pretty simple. All right. All right. So after your bunny is well stuffed, you'll see that its body is taking shape. And you can go ahead and finish round number 13. Oh, excuse me, round number 14, which is just to decrease all the way around. And that'll be five stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, and five and that's that just fasten off with the tail you'll be using that tail to sew up the ends of um excuse me not the ends you're going to be using the tail to sew up the little opening here um of the body and you can go ahead and crochet the ears and the tail now so let's start on those ears. For the ears, you're just going to insert your hook under a stitch between round two and three. So counting from the top, here's round one, two, and three. So in between two and three, I'm going to insert my hook uh, under a stitch. And I'll want it to be um, to the side of the head not too close to the front. You're going to attach yarn and to start you're going to chain four. That's one, two, three, and four chains. In the second chain from your hook, you're going to insert one single crochet. In that third chain, or that next chain, you're going to half double crochet. And in that very last chain, you're going to double crochet. One and two, there we go. Then you're gonna fasten 
fasten off with a bit of a tail. You're going to use that tail to pull into the body or into the head, excuse me. So we're going into a stitch in the head here. And that's that for the ear. Just make sure you pull in both of those yarn tails. There we go. So that's that for um, the first ear. For the second ear, you're basically going to repeat the same directions, but on the other side of the head. So um, again, you're working into rounds, or between rounds two and three. You're going to insert your hook. And let me make sure that it's... Um, And you're just going to repeat the instructions by chaining four. Single crochet in that second chain from the hook. Half double crochet in the next chain. And double crochet in that last chain. Then you're going to fasten off with a tail. Sorry. And you're going to pull in those yarn tails uh, back into the head. So that you can hide them properly. Great. So that's ear number two. For the tail, you're going to um, insert your hook into um, a stitch between, let's see, rounds 11 to 12. So counting down, um, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So between these two, and you're actually going to insert your hook under two stitches not just one, because we want the tail to take up a bit of space here. And you'll, hold on. I have to make sure it is centered. So if my doll's eyes are here, um, that would be, pink. Nope, that's too off to the side. All right, there. That would be the center where I want my tail to be. So you're gonna kind of eyeball it to find where the middle is. And once you're ready, um, you're going to attach yarn. We're gonna make a puff stitch here. So I've attached my yarn by pulling yarn through. I'm going to chain to begin. Then I'm gonna yarn over, insert my hook into the same stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. I have three loops on my hook now. Yarn over, insert my hook into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. I have five loops on my hook now. I'm gonna yarn over and go through all five loops. Then I'm going to make a chain. And last, I'm going to fasten off with a bit of a tail. And I'm going to pull that into my doll's body. So, Pulling that yarn tail back into the same stitch and pull it tight and you'll see that little tail um, kind of curl in place. And I'm taking that starting yarn tail and also pulling it in to the body. All right. Once you do that, your little bunny will have its tail. 
And the very last thing you would do at this point is to stuff in all those yarn ends and grab a yarn needle and um, sew up the opening of the hole. To sew up the opening, I just go through the front loops of the last round and I go through, um, do a running stitch, so in one front loop and out the next front loop, in one front loop and out the next. And since there's only five stitches in this last round, it doesn't take long to go through all of them. And you'll see that I pulled tight and the hole is shut. And you can go ahead and weave in your ends. through a couple stitches all right and just snipping that yarn tail once you are all done with your bunny you'll want to take away any remaining fluff Straighten out those ears and use your fingers to kind of uh, pinch its head back into shape. I hope you enjoyed crocheting this sweet little bunny with me. You can easily decorate your bunny by putting um, different embellishments on its head. You can add a little bow tie, you can add an um, ear bow, you can add flowers, appliques, whatever you'd like. And it makes the perfect little bunny to um, celebrate Easter with. Makes a nice Easter egg stuffer and also um, a cute addition to your Easter basket. All right. Thanks again. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Bye now.